Hi there, I am Chidoshi Juliana Galenji and we are here in this video talking a bit about Jiu-Jitsu and some very traditional techniques that uh, we are going to discuss here with uh, some ancient elements. Uh, do you remember that Jiu-Jitsu actually is an art that was developed to be used during daily situations uh, like the samurai walking or down the streets or some uh, dangers that could be appeared on those circumstances, so the main important thing is not letting the person to grab and to take out your sword. So, uh, of course, because of it, we are going to perform the techniques here with the help of Shidoshi Luis Nogueira serrano uh, The techniques with the sword. And please be aware that here we are talking also uh, about an element that we used to dress that is the tatsuki that you see here because um, I'm going to take out my sode you see that sode is a normal sode so when we are dealing with the swords or sometimes with a technique the sword could come into the sode or could be trapped into the sode so because of it we use the tatsuki so actually we bring the sode up and this is a more safe way to perform any kind of technique with the sword. So the sode will be here very important to the technique itself because we are using the tatsuki to grab and actually make the lock more uh, tough, more, more dangerous, okay? And not let him go out of this. So for instance, uh, let's see just a principle, uh, principle of this way of thinking, we are here, and of course, the first thing that a person will try is to actually avoid me to do the draw or taking my sword out of the saya. So in this case, when he goes, the purpose of him is to bring the sword up, out, and I lose my sword, and of course he's going to use against me, so I cannot allow this in any kind of circumstance. So when he does that, I go with him. So please be aware that he's holding the tsuka. I go with him and go together. And here, the first thing that we're going to see is, I'm sorry, I'm going to bring your so up, is that we're going to use the anatomical areas in a unnormal or uh, uncommon uh, way to bend the arm to actually break the joint. So from here, see, I have the wrist, I twist the wrist, I have the shoulder down, I'm sorry, the elbow down, my arm goes on the line of the elbow and I bring it up, so I have a third point as a consequence that is the shoulder. So by doing that, okay, so normally, in the Jiu-Jitsu normal technique, that will be the lock probably, but here we are going to use the Tatsuki. So I can grab the first part of my Tatsuki to lock it or even the second part of my tatsuki, depending on uh, how comfortable you feel or uh, how flexible you are with your thorax and arms. So here, of course, this is even a um, more close lock. So I'm going to use the first one and we have it here. So from here, of course, we can twist, for instance, our hip and we're going to protect him. And this is going, as you see, that I'm fixing my hand on the wrist and the lock on the elbow, he'll break the arm, he'll break the elbow and probably he will fall down with his head against the ground. That, that's the intention of any kind of projection on Jujutsu. So again, I'm going to do it very slowly just for you to see. And uh, from now we can apply any kind of cut or any kind of uh, situation that he, we could do to try to control him in a kind of osai or to continue breaking in a kind of jujutsu technique or even using the sword to cut. So as we are going to study just the first part, let's show you another one. So please, son, let's try to actually change the circumstance. He will not try to take out my sword anymore but he's going to try to avoid my new key. So he comes and that's another normal situation. He does that. You see here that I have my sword. It affects, please press him to the other side, just for the camera to see. When he does that, you see that it affects completely my back and I am in a very vulnerable circumstance. So try to avoid this. He's coming. 
up, I'm coming also. Now please be aware, you see that his head, his temporal area, comes against the kashira. Okay, so let's do it to the other side just for the camera to see. So again, he comes up, I force it down, he comes violent with the head against the kashira. That's fracture, okay, that's the, the temporal area of the um, cranial facial domes is very vulnerable. You see, just by pressing yours, you feel a little pain. So imagine with the metal of the sword, it goes against it. And now I'm going to release the tsuka and I'm going to hold and pressure more. So the first impact comes on the temporal area, the second one probably will come to mandibular area. So again, we have another fracture or at least a lot of pain also on the technique. So by doing this, I'm going to twist the neck and please be aware that violently we'll bring him down again. I'm going to release him just for him to be comfortable falling. But the head will go against the ground and from here again we can use any technique that we may want of striking, impacting, fracturing, uh, controlling, mosai, kudaki or cuts. So um, let's check another different one, maybe a surprising circumstance. For instance, if he can come here and you do that and you see now I am uh, restrained. He of course will pressure his body against me. So that's the situation. So what we're going to do is that bring a bit or elbow up. We're going to control it. We are going to twist. See here, I will grab my katsuki again. So please be aware that we have this wrist circumstance. I'm twisting it. I have the elbow here. And to be more violent, I will pass my sword and I will bring it to my shoulder. Okay? That will be now affecting the third point, that is the shoulder. And by doing this, of course, I will be projecting, for instance, like in Sekiotoshi. I will knee down, you're not going to do that because this is a really, really tough lock to the elbow and the shoulder. But like in Aga Sekiotoshi, he will fall down and go with the head against the ground. And again, we go to the conclusion of the technique that will be a lot of uh, variations that we could apply uh, depending on our intention. So this is the old Jujutsu. The techniques again are based to be efficient against someone trying to take out your sword or avoiding you to draw, uh, to draw the sword. So um, the main uh, point here is using the Tatsuki to do stronger locks by fracturing during the projection or during the movement itself, during the tsukuri, the, the preparation of it, okay? And uh, avoiding him to put you in a very vulnerable situation because once you lose your weapon, then the situation gets a lot more complicated. So I hope you enjoyed that explanation. Thank you very much for watching our channel and see you in the next videos. <laughs>